So guys, before this video starts, I just want to mention that I dropped some new merch. And as you can see on the screen right there, we got some t-shirts, different designs, some hoodies that look really cool, and all of that good stuff. So the link is in the description down below. Check it out right now if you guys haven't already. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be testing some viral Minecraft TikTok hacks and seeing if they actually work or if it's just a lie. So if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely go ahead, smash the like button right now, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and be sure to turn on those notifications so you don't miss a video. So, for the first one, it is making a circle in Minecraft. So, he places, like, honey blocks down. He places, like, a rail and a minecart. And then you just have to do all this weird stuff, and uh, apparently you can make a circle. So, we're going to go ahead and try that. So, we're just going to get, like, a, uh, a block right here. We're going to get the honey block. I don't know if you really need the honey block, but we're just going to do exactly what he did in the video. Now, let's see if this actually works. It might be like working on an older version. I am on 1.17, so if it doesn't work on 1.17, that is the reason why. Maybe it's like just not working anymore. I, I don't know, but let's just kind of do this, and what we need to do is just kind of spam the mine cards. Uh, I think it is placing it down. Oh, okay, nope. Kind of messed that one up. Uh, there we go. Alright, just spam the minecarts. There we go. We want a ton. And I think that should be enough. There we go. So now, we just kind of go two blocks up. And I stand in the middle of it, apparently. So, hmm. It didn't quite make the circle. I, it, it could be because I'm on 1.17. I actually think that is the reason. It's not going to a circle. No! Come on, please give me a circle. The mine cards are supposed to like... Yeah, look, we do have a ton because I'm breaking it right now. It just doesn't work. You know what? We might try this on an older version and see if it does work. But for now, let's move on to the next one. So guys, for this next one, it actually looks really cool on the video on TikTok. So he uses like rails and the mine carts and soul sand to basically get across the water. And it just looks really awesome. So hopefully this does work. We also need to get a mine cart out. And I think that might be it. So let's go ahead and do exactly what he did. So uh, basically he just kind of went like that. Alright, and the soul sand has to basically... Oh, okay, it is kind of doing the bubbles. Alright, let's continue all the way over here. Okay, I don't know if this is going to work. Hopefully it does. It seems to be kind of doing it. Alright, all the way, I guess... Hmm, let's just get some dirt. Let's kind of just do that. Alright, so do we continue it? Yeah, like this. And then boom... There we go. Oh, please tell me this actually works. This would be really cool. Alright, here we go. Let's, uh, let's sit on it and let's go. Okay. Um, oh, it didn't quite... <laughs> Come on, keep going. Keep going. It didn't have to stop here. Why? How did it work on the other one? I honestly have no idea why this isn't working, but... There we go. Uh, we didn't really get anywhere further. So, I think, you know what? Let's actually try this with just pushing it. Let's see if this actually works if I just wasn't on it. It just kind of stops there. It doesn't do what it was supposed to do. I don't understand, guys. Let me know in the comments below if that one... Maybe he's using a mod? I don't know. It, it just doesn't seem to work. So guys, for the next one, it is how to uh, sleep under the blanket of a bed. So it's really interesting. Again, this person is using like minecarts, rails, and also some slabs as well. So we've got everything we need right here. Let's place the bed down. He goes around uh, to like, I guess, the front of it. Um, places a slab down right here. Covers this up. Goes here and then places a rail down. Okay, and then boom, push the minecart down. Ooh, ooh, okay, that seems to kind of work. And then I guess we need to like right click on it. Oh, 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 okay. Wow, this is actually really cool. <laughs> now you can sleep underneath the blankets. That's actually insane. I didn't think that was going to work. I thought maybe it was going to like the minecart was going to get stuck somehow. Now, the thing is, you can kind of see the minecart there. So, I guess what you could possibly do 
is maybe like I don't know cover it up it does that um, I don't know if that looks as good but I mean hey it, it does work uh this is kind of go right here wait can I click it from there yes we can look at that Perfect! You can't see the minecart. <laughs> it does look a little bit weird with this. Maybe you can find a, uh, a better way to decorate it. But look! We can actually go in, like, well not in, but under the bed covers. So guys, for this one, we can x-ray through blocks and it is very simple as well. So, we just need these items right here and uh, we also need a sticky piston, something to activate it. So we're just going to use, I mean... You could use the button, but we're just going to use this. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So we're just going to dig down. Uh, let's stop around. Maybe... Maybe around here. So we place this down. Get inside of it. Place the sticky piston on top of you. It's a little bit dark in here, but that is okay. And boom. There we go. Oh my goodness. It actually works. Or oh, it does... Oh. Hey. Hey, creeper. Skeleton, I, I can see you guys. <laughs> now, it's not that great. Hang on, let's change the video settings. Render distance, maybe we need to increase that a little bit. Um, okay. Can't see anything crazy, like, cave-wise. Let's find a different place to try this on. Um, let's see. So, I dug down a little bit uh, further down, and let's see if this one works better. Hmm, oh. Okay, well... A little bit, a little bit. We can see some stuff like some redstone. Uh, but, I mean, obviously it does work. And it is very simple. So, I guess you can use this in, like, different areas and try to find diamonds. Uh, if you want to cheat. I mean, if you don't want to cheat, then just simply don't do this x-ray glitch. But... It, it does work, so that is very, very awesome. Now, this one right here, I don't think it's going to work, but you never know. So it's called a lightning farm. Now, I feel like there might be some kind of hidden command block somewhere, but we're going to give it a go. Uh, hopefully it does work, because it does look really cool when it does kind of uh, go crazy with the lightning, but... Yeah, let's go ahead and try it right now. So guys, we got everything we need, and also it is raining as well, which is perfect. So we also needed to enchant the trident with channeling, and I think that's pretty much it. So hopefully I do this correctly. So he kind of just does this, right? Uses the redstone dust, uh, the sticky piston, and then I think... Oh yeah, he places a block right here, and then... Oh, oh, oh yeah, we have to do that. And then this. Is that correct? Let me just double check with the video. Yeah, it is. And then he just kind of shoots down a lot of tridents onto it. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this. So bam, bam. Oh, wait. There we go. We just need a lot of them. There we go. Just spam it out. Hopefully this is correct. If this doesn't work, I'm going to be so sad. But if it does work, then yeah, th this is actually going to be awesome. Alright, there we go. I think that might be enough. So basically, what he does now is he does that. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, he breaks it. Oh, we can't even break it. Wait, what? Okay. Oh, wait. Is it because I'm holding the trident? I think it is. Hang on. Boom. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. It's going crazy. Okay, and then bam. Okay, it's kind of working a, a little bit um yeah I, I, I don't know it, it is kind of working not as crazy as the video showed i think i might have done something a little bit wrong but hey uh it, it is working <laughs> i think these ones are supposed to be on it and i think that might be uh the problem as well so it, it does look pretty cool though <laughs> look at them bounce like that wow okay that's actually pretty insane. Uh, okay, we need to stop this. Relax, relax. There we go. Let's pick this all up. There we go. Uh, should we try that one more time? I feel like we should. Uh, just in case I did something a little bit wrong. Um, but yeah, let's just do that. And then the trident. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We need to make sure this is turned off. Oh, why can't you break anything with the, um, the trident? Like, I... I get the whole thing with a sword, but with a trident, it's just not making any sense. But, alright, let's just do, like, a few here. Alright, there we go, there we go, there we go. And hopefully it doesn't all bounce off. Oh, there we go! 
Yes! That is definitely better. And we don't even need to like activate that anymore because we already did. So yeah, this, this does work. That was actually... You know what? Lucky I did a second attempt because it actually does work um, a lot better because as you saw the other tridents kind of went off. I think I might have done a little bit too much. So yeah, I guess we did like a little trial and error right there, but it does work. A lightning farm is working. <laughs> I'm surprised it's not lagging a lot though. That's actually crazy. Wow. All right, let's turn it off and um, yeah. There you go. So guys, for the last one, we have LED lights. And I think this one is really cool. I don't know if it works exactly how it's shown in the TikTok, but that's why we're trying it. So uh, I just want to quickly locate a village, which we already did right there. But is there another one nearby? No, I guess this is the same one. So TP, uh, zero, we're just going to do 100, uh, and negative 992. Is this the village? Where is it? Oh. Oh, okay, we found it. <laughs> Perfect. It's just because I didn't want to like build a little place, but let's try this awesome trick in, I guess, this house right here, or this village. Um, so what we need is a sign. We also need uh, the glow... Yeah, so this one right here, the glow ink sack, and uh, the, I guess, color that you want. So let's try, I guess, magenta. Let's try yellow. Let's try lime as well, and blue. Okay, this is going to be awesome. Let's actually do time set uh, midnight. So is it... Yeah, it's all night time. Um, let's just do the lines, so just like that. Alright, this is so cool. Hopefully this does work. If it doesn't, then I'm going to be very disappointed. But I think it will actually work. And then let's just do some over here. And there we go. Oh, nope, nope. Did not mean to place it up there. There we go. You know what? I'm just going to do it all around me. I, I wish we could place a sign there, like, for it to connect, but unfortunately, we cannot do that. But uh, we can do this. There we go. All right. So what we need to do now is, I guess, yeah, okay, here we go. Use it on the sign. So this is for 1.17. We're just going to remove this as well. I, I feel like I need it to be a little bit darker in here. Why is it? Oh, okay. There we go. Um... Why is it so... There's so much light in here. Oh. Oh, now I see. <laughs> is there another light in here? I, I think we're all good. So now, we just... Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks clean. It does actually work, though. Wow, like, it actually does look like an LED light. Now, the thing is, I just need it to be, like, darker in here. Why is there so much light? <laughs> you know what? Maybe if I try it in, like, I guess even a darker place. So... This is kind of like dig into here. Yeah, this is more darker. So this is probably a better example. So let's place this down. Oh, okay. Nope. We need to do the line again. So there we go. And done. Let's just place the glow. And we're going to do green this time. Let's just kind of shut this off. And there we go. Look at that. You know what? That is actually pretty impressive. It is pretty dark in here. I don't know if you guys... I like seeing what I'm seeing right now. Hopefully, hopefully you are. <laughs> but this looks awesome. So we just need the glow. And I'm going to do pink this time. Look at that. So you can actually use this like for LED lights in your house. For like some kind of decoration. But you know what? I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10. Guys, I might have lied. That wasn't the last one. This one is the last one. And I'm just going to tell you now. I don't think this is going to work. But I just want to show you guys how like funny this is or just clickbait i guess so he's making a portal he even messes up with the the creeper head i, I don't know how but he managed to mess up and <laughs> we're just gonna go ahead and do exactly what he did so he places like lime down uh and then he does like this weird thing like four blocks around like this with the um i don't know i i, I don't know this is not gonna work this is actually why am I even trying this? Like, actually, why am I trying this? This is already clickbait. He managed to mess up by not even putting the head straight. But I'm going to do it anyway. So, look at this. Apparently, it's a new dimension. But, no. No, it's not. It doesn't work. And you can even see in the video that someone, like, puts in a command to set the blocks for the end portal. And it just... <laughs> 
<laughs> like people can fall for like the weirdest thing. Basically, he's just placing down some honey blocks and um, this is actually a really, really cool elevator trick. Now, I'm not too sure if it works or if it's like completely clickbait or something, but he places like soul sand down the bottom and then like water up the top and uh, then you kind of just go from the side and it just works. I, I don't know how this is even possible, but you know what? I want to give it a try. So what we're going to do is get the honey block. Uh, we also need to get a bucket of water and also the soul sand. So there we go. Alright, you know what? I'm going to build this pretty tall. So we're not going to like do exactly what um, he was doing with the amount. And you know what? The honey block sounds very satisfying. Wait, even breaking it does. <laughs> okay, you know what? We're getting off like topic right now. But anyways, uh, we just want to place it around like this. Exactly what he did, except uh, mine's just a little bit taller. So there we go. Then we have to do it on the other two sides. I actually hope this works. If it doesn't, I'm going to be very sad. Because this is actually a really cool, like, little elevator trick you can, I guess, do for, like, tall buildings or whatever in your world. So, and here we go. Boom. Alright, so now we just go down to the bottom. Oh, we're going down very slow, but, oh, there we go. So, soul sand, and then we just place the water just like this. Alright. Each block. There we go. Hopefully, we're doing this right. And are we up to the top yet? There we go. Alright, so please tell me. Please tell me this works. If it doesn't, I'm going to be very sad. Alright, here we go. We're going to go in third person and try this. So here we go, guys. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Wait. It... Oh my goodness. What? Wait, it actually... <laughs> Wait, it actually works? Hang on. What if we try this side? No way. No way. Now... In case some of you guys think I'm flying or something creative, I'm going to switch to survival. Just so you know, I can't fly. Like, I'm double pressing the space button. I can't fly. I don't have any, like, hacks on. So here we go. And it still works. That is actually insane. It Does it need the honey block? I actually don't know how this works. Like, I understand the whole soul sand thing, but that's actually really cool. Now, what, what if we go down? Oh, okay. We can kind of go down, but, but, then, but then you kind of go up. So... Wow, that's actually really cool. Can we take a lot of fall damage? Oh, we can. Oh, okay, yeah. So, not really the greatest elevator to go down with. However, if you want to do, like, a little quick uh, elevator to go up, then uh, you can definitely use this. This is actually really, really awesome. So, for this next one, I'm a little bit confused. I'm not going to lie. It says breaking Minecraft, and he's basically doing, like, the end portal stuff, but, um, I, I want to try it out just to see what he's doing exactly. So, let's just get everything we need. So, we need, like, sticky piston, uh, oh, which I cannot spell. There we go. Uh, we also need to get the end portal frame, which we already have. I need the eye vendor. There we go. All right. So, basically, what he's doing is, I don't know if it really makes sense if it's really breaking Minecraft, because look at this, right? So, he does, like, the whole redstone stuff here he does the this stuff and near the end um he kind of I, I'll, I'll show you guys but uh okay so sticky piston all right and he does leave one out like this hang on hang on so if i go around but we don't want to do it just yet all right so you know what i'm gonna do it in that corner oops did not mean to break the whole thing oh and that's the wrong one there we go so i'm gonna do that and break this and then bam hmm okay so it it didn't work did i do something wrong <laughs> i mean yeah it, it broke all of it so i don't think that was supposed to happen so maybe maybe it is cat so for this next one i have a really really good feeling it's not gonna work because it just looks like massive cap and clickbait but i'm gonna give it a go so he uses an end rod and we need a sticky piston uh we also need to get some redstone uh also some diamond ores well actually just one and also this right here now this is not gonna work guys i i just already know it but we're gonna try it anyways so uh he basically just has it right here he has the uh the piston and this yeah all right just do exactly what he's doing i obviously have a feeling that there is some kind of command block doing this 
But like, come on. Th why are you posting this on TikTok knowing this is not going to work? And that is the wrong thing. We want to get this. So apparently, if I was to click on this, we're going to get all these diamonds. But guess what? It's not going to happen. Look, it, it, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> there has to be some kind of command block underneath triggering all of this stuff like for all these diamonds to come out of everything and that's what he's not showing so this one obviously doesn't work and it's disappointing because it, it would actually be really cool if it worked but yeah give me all the diamonds come on come on please maybe if you just do it quick nah it's okay it's not gonna work oh i mean i already knew it wasn't gonna work but i just want to try it just to see if i'm wrong because sometimes i am wrong and this one well, I wasn't wrong with this one. I was actually right. So for this next one, we have a working zip line. Now, this one is something I've seen a while ago. I've never tried it, but I want to see if it actually does work. So now what we have to do is find... Actually, wait, this might be perfect. You know what? I'm gonna do it right here. So basically, we need to get a chain right there. Okay, we need some water uh we also need what else do we need a trap door there we go and i think that's pretty much it so right here is actually more perfect so uh basically we've got this little land here and uh this one over here as well so i guess um i'm just gonna start it from here yeah let's um attach it oh this is actually kind of tricky all right there we go use all the chain go across to one side i hope this actually works because it does look pretty cool that would be amazing if it does. Uh, sometimes it is a little bit tricky placing it down, but we're getting there. This one's actually a really long one, so I'm hoping it doesn't, like, mess up because it's it's long or something. Uh, ooh, it doesn't really connect, but what we're going to do is just connect it ourselves by placing blocks down. There we go. All right, so basically what he said was we have to go down... A block. Okay, so everything's in my way. Get out of my way, trees! So guys, I did kind of mess up, but I did fix it right here. So basically, all you have to do now is go down two blocks, like he said, and then one there. And then we place, like, the trapdoor right here. So I had the, uh, the chain basically, like, on the trapdoor, if that makes sense. So I did have it wrong, but now I did fix it. Make sure it's underneath, because I don't think it's gonna work in that case. But, let's see if this works. Please tell me it does. I'm gonna jump into survival. And here goes nothing. Alright, oh, okay, nope. Uh, please? How do I- Oh, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. No! No! What? What? Why did that not work? What? Alright, guys, so we're gonna try this one last time. It does actually work. However, I think I was doing it wrong. Yes. So look at this, right? And then you just kind of let go. There we go. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> a little zip line. And then, yeah, we're pretty much just going to die there. But you, you guys get the point. So it does actually work. However, um, it is a little bit tricky sometimes. But, um, yeah, as you can see, I just fell there. And then you would have died. So it's a bit of a 50-50. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there you go. It does work. So for this next one, this one's actually quite easy. Now, I just don't know if it uh, does work or not. So we're going to try it. I'm just going to place some blocks here. There we go. All right, so we need a shulker box. And basically what he does is breaks like... Okay, it doesn't really matter about the block there, but we're just going to do it anyways. So he stands up against this. It's kind of like some x-ray hacks. What if I get closer to it? Hang on, let's, let's get a little bit closer. There we go. Like that. Boom. Oh, there we go. Actually. Nah. Okay, I actually thought that was going to work for a second. I thought I might have been doing it wrong. Because maybe he wasn't hard up against the wall. Maybe he was actually closer to uh, the shulker box. Which I am right now. Bam. And then... You can, like, look through it. But look, I'm I'm moving. It's, it's, it's not doing anything. <laughs> No, I really wanted x-ray hacks, but it's not working So for this next one, I've actually never tried before But he places a wet sponge and then an empty bucket underneath in a furnace And it actually fills the bucket up I feel like it might work, but I don't know That's why we're gonna try it So let's get everything we need So we need a furnace We need, um Actually, we're just gonna get a normal sponge Because we have water right next to us uh, we need to get some coal. 
and I think that's pretty much it in the bucket. That is pretty much it. Let's actually do this in survival as well, so we don't accidentally mess up anything. So we got it there. We, um, actually, I want to try something here. So if we break this, we get the wet sponge, yeah. Now, if we use this with the coal, we should just get a normal sponge, right? That would make sense. I've actually never tried this before. Okay. So, yep, yeah, that does work. All right, let's get the, uh... The wet sponge again. So while doing this... Oh, this is going to be interesting. Um, oh, it's already doing it. It's already doing it. There we go. Okay. Are we going to get water in that bucket? Is this actually going to work? I feel like I'm being dumb right now, but... It does! Okay, so... Maybe a lot of you guys knew that, but... Um, honestly, I had no idea that's how that actually worked. That's actually insane. <laughs> I've never really played around with the sponges before. But that's actually really cool. Wow, I guess you learn something new every day. That is crazy. Oh, okay, wait. We don't want that. There we go. Let's do this one more time. Because that was actually really cool. I didn't think it would work like that. But, I mean, it, it does make sense. It, it really does make sense if you think about it. But I just didn't think it was going to work. But it does. So that is um, actually really, really awesome. So for the first one, it is on Bedrock Edition. So uh, basically, it's like a weird kind of glitch, but it's really cool at the same time. I don't know if like Mojang purposely added this in or accidentally. I have no idea. But basically, all you have to do is type in summon um, and you want to type in wolf and then these little squiggly lines just like this. And uh, basically, just type in Minecraft with those little two dots entity and you want to do the first one right here so if you want to pause it you can and do this on bedrock as well so basically if we spawn this in it's um yeah the the dog or the wolf whatever you want to call it is red <laughs> it's really weird so basically if we were to just spawn in a normal uh you know dog as you can see this is what it would normally be but we have a red one now you might be thinking, Fusion, is that all you can do? Well, no, because we can actually use a different, like, colored dye, and we can change it. So we're just going to get all of them, just uh, because why not? Uh, actually, we've got a few blues here. Let's use magenta, pink. All right, so look at this. Bam! We can change it to orange. We can change it to yellow, green, uh, a different green. <laughs> uh, cyan. We can change it to magenta, pink. I mean, you can't do this with this dog, except for, like, the collar around it. So it's really strange, and also, if you want to, like, make this grow up, so, um, you know, become, like, an adult, just get some beef, some raw beef just like this, and check this out, it's gonna grow up eventually, and come on, there we go. So it's a weird kind of glitch, you can't tame it, so even though we have all of that, we can't, like, make it sit or do anything, but we can change the color of the, the wolf. So I thought that was pretty cool, and it does work on TikTok, so if you guys want to try it out for yourself as well, it does work on Bedrock. I, I don't know about Java, so yeah. Now, this one is something that maybe a lot of you guys do know, but I actually didn't even know you could do this. And uh, I was even talking to like some of my friends, and they didn't know either. So I was like, maybe I should just include this, because I saw this on TikTok, and I thought it was actually pretty cool. So what we're going to do is get a fox. And uh, as you can see on that TikTok right there, I mean, you can see everything that's happening. Uh, the fox can actually, like, pick up the totem of Undyne. Now, I didn't know that. I legit did not know this was a thing until I came across it on TikTok. And I was like, wow, that's actually insane. So, uh, actually, we're just going to get some fences as well because uh, we need to kind of trap the fox. Um, just kind of like this, I guess. So, there we go. Put the, uh, the fox in there. And if we drop it, look at this. So, if we kind of, like get close to it. It has nothing in its mouth, but if I drop it, it picks it up in its mouth. Like, what? <laughs> and, um, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna do, like, another one right here. Okay, so check this out. Now, one without Totem of Undyne, if we kill this, so one, two, three, it takes three hits and it dies. Now, the one with the Totem of Undyne, it actually does work like it should, like if a player was to hold it. So, one, two, three... And then you get these weird, like, weird particle effects, and it survives. So, I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, some of you guys might know this trick, or whatever you want to call it, but I had no idea this was a thing, and I think it's pretty cool. So, so guys, for this trick, it includes some armor stands, and basically, he is going to use some sticky pistons and some redstone to kind of, like, push them, like, combine together. 
And I think this is like a cool little trick. So we're going to go ahead and see if it works or if it doesn't. And I'm hoping it does work because, I mean, you can't really have a creeper face on a helmet with like the armor stand if that makes sense so let's get everything we need so we need an armor stand obviously uh we also need to get a creeper head uh, i'm not gonna do it with the wither head but i'm gonna do it with the zombie head because i just think it's it looks better i guess uh let's get a diamond helmet and also a gold helmet so it's nothing like crazy, but you can't, you know, place a creeper head and also a diamond helmet on top of it. It's just going to remove it just like that. So that's pretty much what the trick is. And I think it's, uh, it's going to be pretty cool if it does work. Hopefully it does. Uh, so we're also forgetting the, uh, the sticky piston and also the redstone block right here. So here we go. Let's just place two of them like this. Let's place the creeper head, the zombie head. And boom, boom, and we're going to place the diamond helmet on this one with a diamond chest plate, because why not? And this one, just like that. Now we basically get the sticky piston, and what he did was place it behind, use the block of redstone to push it, like, a little bit closer. But uh, guess what? You have to do it again, because it's not it's not close enough. And uh, we, al we also have to do it one more time. Yep, I know, it's a little bit tricky, but let's see if this does work. All right. Oh! Oh, it actually, it actually does. You know what? That's actually really cool. And you know what? We can also add maybe like a diamond sword on the hands. And let me just quickly, can we change the pose? Or is that going to, oh, okay. Yeah, we might not want to change the pose. <laughs> because as you can see, oh, you know what? This one actually kind of works. But yeah, oh, that one definitely does not because it's coming through the helmet and stuff. So yeah, maybe just leave it like this but that is awesome it actually works wow so guys this one is on java now and basically what we're gonna do is build all the way up kind of what this person did and uh it's pretty much like a way to uh save yourself from dying from fall damage and this is like kind of like save quits and then you go back into the game and you're fine so we're gonna put that to the test i've actually never tried this so hopefully hopefully tiktok does not let me down please please <laughs> all right so here we go we're just gonna jump off and I, I mean we can go in third person pretty much like what he did and then we kind of leave the game and then join again so here we go all right so let's go yeah about there saving quits all right and then go back into that same world are we going to survive are we actually going to survive i don't know or are we just gonna die oh oh it, it actually works. I, I'm alive. <laughs> Yo, what? Wait, that's actually really cool. What if we go higher? I, I don't think it even matters if I go higher. Wow, that's actually cool. I, I don't know if this works on Bedrock, though. We could try it, but um, I feel like Bedrock won't work. You know what? I actually want to try it after this. <laughs> Dude, that's so cool. I'm going to go even higher. You know what? Right there seems perfect to me. So... Once again, let's switch to survival, and let's just jump off. There we go. And then, boom, save and quits. Just just in case you accidentally fell, you can just quickly save and quits. Uh, and then just join back into the world, and then we should be alive. We should be. Again, hopefully. Yeah, look at that. So should we try it on Bedrock? I, I feel like we should. Guys, I have a really bad feeling that uh, Bedrock just doesn't hit the same like java with uh this trick but we're gonna try it anyways so as you can see we're on bedrock obviously and that should be high enough so let's just jump for it and hopefully it does but i have a bad feeling it's not so pause oh god oh no 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 this is not gonna work this is not gonna work because it doesn't like pause the game when you actually press escape so here we go we're just gonna jump back in the world I am i even gonna be falling I actually wonder if I will still be falling. All right, let's see. Are we... Oh. <laughs> well, it's safe to say it does not work on Bedrock. But Java, I mean, hey, if you're falling and you want to still survive, just, just do that. Guys, I feel like this next one here is going to be massive cap. Because he basically starts throwing snowballs at, say, a snow golem. And apparently it gets bigger, like... It just doesn't make sense. So, I mean, we're going to try it. This is why I'm wasting my time, so you guys don't have to. 
but we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna see if this works I, I have a bad feeling it's obviously not going to work so we need a pumpkin and also oh yeah we need the shears apparently you need the shears which I, I don't see why it would work when doing this but hey we're just gonna try it so uh oh yeah we also need to kind of trap it so kind of just do this i guess um yeah don't go anywhere buddy hey hey hey, hey. relax relax just relax a little bit <laughs> all right so apparently if we just keep throwing snowballs at it it will grow bigger hmm guys i feel like he must be using a hack because um, he's not doing anything <laughs> It, I mean, he did do a speed up. I, I don't know how long he was throwing the snowballs for, but I mean, I'm, I'm still throwing snowballs and it's still not even, just even an inch bigger. So it's obviously not working. It's even starting to get nighttime right now. So yeah, I mean, it would actually be really cool if it did work, but guys, it's massive cap. So guys, for the lucky last one, I did not know this was possible and uh, maybe some of you guys did or you didn't. But guess what? If uh, if you kind of like hit an iron golem and then you use an iron ingot on it, it, it basically heals it. So let me show you guys. Let's just quickly go ahead and uh, make an iron golem. So we also need to get a pumpkin, which is right here. And also we need the iron ingots, uh, which is right there. And you know what? We're just going to hit it with an iron sword because why not? So here we go. Let's make an iron golem just like that. And if we hit it... It should be... Oh, wait, this is on bedrock. Yeah, maybe this is not going to work on bedrock. Yeah, I feel like it's definitely a Java thing. Because you can actually see, like, the cracks in it on Java. But yeah, Iron Ingots doesn't do anything. Actually, yeah, that's interesting. Hmm, well, let's switch to Java and try it. So now we are on Java, and we have a lovely Iron Golem in front of us. Let's see if it works now. And bam. Okay. We're not getting any hits. Oh, there we go. All right, so we don't want to kill it too bad. I think there's a next stage. Yeah, and then we feed it. Oh, look at that. And it's back to, like, full health. Okay, so that's actually really cool. Some of you guys might have known that, or maybe you didn't, but TikTok just taught me that cool little trick, so... That is awesome. All right, guys. So that is going to wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed, definitely go ahead, smash the like button right now. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and want to see more videos like this. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. See ya.